three local dentists and two hygienists handed out smiles in Haiti. They provided free dental care to families who are still trying to recover from the 2010 earthquake. Here to tell us more about that is Chedley Vincent of Aspen Dental. Thank you so much for joining us, Chedley. Thanks for having me. Now, you had actually been to this area of Haiti before, right? Yes, I have. I went after the earthquake um, in Jacques Mel. It's about two hours north of Port-au-Prince. Mm -hmm. And um, I went to go help build homes after the earthquake. And when they found out that I was a dentist, oh. they were just like, please come back because, you know, there's such a need for dental care there. So when you were there, did you realize there was such a need for that? Um, yeah, I mean, you could see that by, you know, looking at the people that were there. But just in itself, there's one dentist to about 100,000 people. And mm -hmm. even after the earthquake, like, you know, the dental office that were there were very damaged. So it's, you know, it's even worse now. What are the communities like two years later? Um, still very poor, still very damaged. You know, they still do need a lot of help. Yeah. Um, are they doing better now since the last time you visited? They are doing better, but there's still a lot of devastation there. Um, did you have any problems with supplies or did you bring enough supplies? We bought enough supplies, but what we found was that, um, you know, they don't have electricity all throughout the day. The electricity is intermittent. So we had to use generators in order to help run our equipment because we had to bring the compressors and the dental units and the generators just weren't strong enough to handle everything that we had. So, you know, we had to make do. With, oh, so you had to just work when you could get power and... Exactly, yeah. So when that was the case, then we took the opportunity to, you know, talk about dental education and dental health, things that are just as important. And um, do you have any particular stories of people that you helped while you were there? Um, there were just so many people and they were just so, you know, happy and appreciative because a lot of them have never gone to see a dentist before. So for us to come there, it was, it was pretty amazing for them. And even the last day that we were there, we extended out hours because every day more and more people came through word of mouth. And the last day as we extended our hours, even as we closed the doors, people were just still waiting to come in. What was the most re the rewarding part for you to help out? Just seeing how much they appreciated it and um, just knowing that they wanted us to come back. They were just like, can you come back next month? They were just very <laughs> excited for us to come back. Do you plan on making any more trips oh, there? Oh, absolutely. Our goal is to go um, once a year, you know, if we can, definitely. And I mean, obviously, overall, vital health care, we understand. But yes. dental health care is also very important. Yeah, absolutely. You know what they say, like, you know, the oral health is the gateway to, you know, our overall health. So just, you know, providing that information for them is just very important. And this is information they didn't have access to? Yeah, they didn't have access to it. They just don't see dentists. So for them to be able to hear that makes a big difference, just knowing the basic needs of taking care of your teeth and brushing and flossing every yeah. day. Well, you're doing great work over there. Thank you so much, Dr. Vincent. Thank you.